Hello everyone. Welcome to LICD Lecture 39B. Today we are going to cover the compensation techniques for input offset voltage. So let us begin. Let me put it into full screen mode. Okay. Yeah. So we'll start now. So the compensation technique for various open parameters we have already seen, and the third one is the effect of Input offset voltage VIO. Now, in spite of use of compensation techniques for, uh, you know, input bias currents and input offset uh, currents, it is found that the output voltage may still not be zero, even with the input zero input uh, voltage. This is due to unavoidable mismatches between the transistors inside the op-amp IC. And one may have to apply a small voltage at the input terminals to make the output voltage zero. This voltage is called as input offset voltage, or denoted by, or it is uh, its notation is VIO. So VIO is the voltage required to be applied at the input for making the output voltage zero, as shown over here. Okay. So we apply uh, both the terminals are normally grounded. So we apply a small voltage. In uh, let's say in either in non-inverting or inverting terminal, such that the output becomes zero. Uh, next point is we have already observed the effect of VIO on the output of inverting and non-inverting amplifier. So this will be a breezer. So yeah, so we have seen this before. So we have incorporated the input by input offset uh, voltage VIO in the non-inverting terminal, and these two voltages add in series. So V V out will be V in plus V I O into one plus R F upon R one. So the effect of V I O on the non-inverting amplifier is that addition of an extra term that is V I O into one plus R two upon R one. Fine. So with V in equal to zero, it reduces to exactly this expression. That is V out is given by V I O into one plus R two upon R one, which is the equation number two. So this voltage produced due due to the input offset voltage is called as Output offset voltage denoted by V O O. Okay, so this output voltage is called denoted by V O O. Okay, next we'll see the effect of V I O on the inverting amplifier. We have already seen this and derived this. So V out will be given by minus R two upon R one into V in plus this additional term in red in color will be due to the contribution of input offset voltage that is V I O. So we, uh, it is uh, R minus R two upon R one V in plus V I O into one plus R two upon R one. So whenever V in becomes zero, this expression becomes V out is equal to V I O into one plus R two upon R one. So this output voltage produced due due to the input offset voltages, V I O is called as output offset voltage denoted by V O O. Okay. So next we go for the compensation technique. Yeah. So the compensation technique for the input offset voltage is required when we want to make it absolutely sure that the output voltage is zero for a zero input voltage. So this is achieved externally by connecting the potentiometer between pin number one and five, which are called as offset null, and the variable terminal of the potentiometer. That is called as a wiper is connected to the negative supply voltage. That is minus V E E. So over here we have used almost all the you know pin numbers of the op-amp. Uh, here it is seven actually. Two, three, one, uh, four, five, six, and seven is over here. Okay. So basically uh, we are providing offset compensation pins to nullify the effect of uh, offset voltage. Output offset voltage. So basically, the provision is being made by the 741 manufacturers, IC manufacturers, to uh, you know manually make the output voltage uh, go to zero with the zero input voltages. Okay. So here you remember here we have already incorporated the RCOM register over here. Now henceforth, whatever designs you do, in fact, in the previous circuits also, you can all add RCOM register in all of your circuits. Okay, it will be a parallel combination of R1 and R2. Now, so that's what we have described over here. Uh, pin number one and five are called as offset null in op-amp, and we are used this for the first time. So I am just describing it now. 
a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer is placed between placed across the offset null pins 1 and 5 and the wiper the variable terminal of the pot is connected to pin number 4 there is a negative supply voltage pin number 4 the position of the wiper is adjusted that is the variable uh, wire or the wiper is adjusted in such a way that the uh, output offset voltage voo is absolutely zero volts okay so this is a very important compensation technique and uh, one should remember it how to make the output offset voltage go to zero now the total output offset voltage vot is given by uh, by two you know two points we can discuss and then we can write the formula vot now the first point is the maximum output offset uh, voltage the maximum offset voltage at the output of an inverting and non inverting amplifier without any compensation technique is given as now here we are combining the effect of uh, input bias current and input offset voltage so hence the term vio and iv minus comes into picture so vot will be given by 1 plus rf upon r1 into vi uh, vio plus rf into ib minus this is equation number a now next point is that if you connect rcom in the circuit so basically your bias current will get compensated but still you have input offset current so the total output offset voltage is given by vot is equal to 1 plus rf upon r1 into vio this will not change this will change uh, from ib minus or ib plus to iim zero so this term will become rf into iio this is equation number b so it's very very vital when we solve numericals on this okay so the numerical name has come and the numerical also has come so for the non inverting amplifier given below calculate the following maximum output offset voltage due to input offset voltage and input bias current yeah we have the formula for that then we calculate the value of rcom needed to reduce the effect of iv okay and the third part we calculate the maximum output offset voltage if rcom calculated in part b is connected okay so we recalculate a with rcom connected so the op amp parameters are measured and their values are vio is 10 millivolt ib is 300 nano amperes and input offset current is iio is 50 nano amperes over here the value of rf and r1 are given 10 kilo ohm and 1 kilo ohm and uh, yeah so we can start with the solution so the first case we don't apply any compensation so vot formula will be let me just expand it a little so vot formula will be 1 plus rf upon r1 into vio plus rf into ib we can generally write ib also so vot will be equal to 1 plus 10k upon 1k vio is uh, given as uh, 10 millivolt correct and plus rf that is 10k into ib is given as 300 nano amperes so if you plug in these answers the first term will give you 110 millivolt and the second term will give you 3 millivolt so your total output offset voltage is 113 millivolt due to vio and ib now the value of rcom needed is rcom is equal to r1 parallel to r2 which will be 1k parallel to 10k which will be 909.09 .09 ohms it's pretty straightforward okay now the third thing we will recalculate the part a values but with uh, rcom connected in the circuit so 1 plus rf upon r1 into vio plus rf into iio right so iio value is 50 nano amperes and vio is 10 millivolts so we substitute inside the calculator first term will be 110 millivolt and the second term will be 0.5 millivolt and vot will be 110.5 millivolt due to vio and iio okay i we hope that we have completely covered the uh, numerical so in this topic in today's uh, online session we have covered the various technical uh, I know compensation techniques for the op-amp parameters that is the specifically for input offset voltage and we have seen the concept of a total of output offset voltage and uh, one we have solved one numerical based on uh, you know calculating the maximum output offset voltage of an inverting amplifier so i guess uh, i'll stop over here that's it for today next time we'll begin with a new topic
until then have a good day and thank you